Hello friends, welcome to Ankpro Training. This is our fifth video on tips and tricks of C Sharp. In this video, we're going to understand the different kinds of variables when we declare them using const, read-only, and static keywords. So I'm going to open a new console project here, and I'll call it as const read-only and static. So first I'll show you how const and read only variables works. So the variables declared using const and read only keywords will get the values but they never going to change. Both variables act similar but I'll show you what is the difference. First let me show you uh, the variable declared using constant. So const is a keyword. So whenever you are declaring the variable using the const, you have to declare and initialize the variable and you are not going to change or no and no one can change the value stored in the variable which is constant. Right? So let me go and show you that. So I am declaring the variable using const int a. Right? So I cannot leave that variable as it is it will throw you the error a constant field requires a value to be provided right so I have to give this a value so now it is ok right so let me run this control F5 100 right so so the variables declared using const keyword must be initialized in the declaration only and once the variable assigned a value nobody can change its value right so if you do so left hand side of assignment must be a variable that means you cannot change the value once it is assigned right and now I'll show you how read only works so I'm going to declare it in the class scope read only and uh, you know re when we declare the variables using read only we don't need to initialize in the declaration itself we can initialize the read only variables in the constructor because they're going to evaluate at the run time so let me show you that read only int a so this is fully valid right when I use const this is not valid I have to initialize a but in the context of read only I can leave it uninitialized and I can initialize yay anytime I want so now I'll use the constructor to initialize ctor so now I'm doing that right okay let me create an object of that program p equal to new right the object has been created so let me print this as well control f5 so here is its value so once it's been created there is no need to initialize because the value is going to set using the constructor uh, that is because the value is going to evaluate at run time and you can't change its value as well say suppose using a function public sample I cannot change its value right so if I do so it will throw me an error a read only field cannot be assigned right except a constructor or a variable initializer so I can't do this right I can either initialize here or I will do here right so both are valid but I cannot change its value using any function I hope you understood uh, the difference between constant read only now I'll show you how static variables work so now let me declare the value using static keyword here static int num and I'll initialize its value with a 0 okay so now it has got 0 and now I'm using the constructor to change its value now I'm using num plus plus so every time it increments I'll show you why I'm using this so now I'll print its value yay 
okay so I'll tell you for first object right so now I'm going to declare uh, now I'm going to create the objects four different objects for the same class so the class name is program p1 p1 is the object here new program so let me copy this and paste it below so there will be four different objects of the type program right so I'll explain what happens here oops this is not a so this should be num right sorry for that so I'll explain what happens here so first uh, the num variable has been created with the static keyword and it is initialized with a zero so this is a constructor it is automatically executed when the object of this class is created so so zero will be incremented num will be incremented to one and it is printed out each time whenever the object created let me go and run control f5 so here i've got one two three four so normally what happens each object uh, uh, stores the copy of the variable num if it is not the static variable but since it is the start since it is the static variable each object has got one same copy of the variable so num is shared among all the four objects and the and the value stored in num remains same in all the objects if you are in if you are incremented it increments in p2 it increments in p3 it increments in p4 as well the value doesn't change say suppose it is not static what happens so let me run this control f5 so value remains one because one copy is stored in all the four objects so p1 has got separate num p2 has got separate num p3 and p4 will get separate num variable I hope you understood the difference between static, const, and read only. A variable declared as const must be assigned a value of declaration, and we cannot change its value once it is assigned. They are implicitly static by default. So you cannot use static uh, when we are declaring the variable with const. And you can apply const keyword to all these kinds of data types. And read only. So the value will be initialized either at declaration time or in the constructor that means you can initialize or you can use the constructor to initialize so read only values will evaluate runtime only and you cannot change its value at any point of time using any function and static static variables are common to all objects each static variable is shared among all the way all the objects of the same class and they do not tie to a specific object well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.